championship at two different schools. For his coach in NCAA history, to guide three different schools to the Final Four. It's Rick Patino joining us here at uh, BYU Basketball Practice and now the head coach of the Iona Gales. Rick, great to have you. Thanks for having me. Obviously, you coached Mark Pope in college. Uh, how has this guy evolved from that guy you had as a junior and senior to the head coach of BYU now? Well, Mark Pope has a lot of characteristics that, to me, I've, I've been coaching now 40 years. And I would say Billy Donovan, Mark Pope, maybe two or three other guys, I would characterize as having the most integrity, the hardest working people. Understand that Mark Pope played on a team that was 16-0 and in SEC play, scored 86 points at halftime on the road, won 27 consecutive games, passed North Carolina for the most wins in the history of the game, Averaged 22 point margin of victory per game, so he's he he was the captain of one of the most dominating teams ever in the history of college basketball. He was the leader, the hardest worker, and probably top three in my 40 year career, hardest workers of all time. Great character, great intelligence, great work ethic, just the most one of the most together young men I've ever coached in my lifetime. Those are some tremendous com uh, compliments for him. What was he like as a player versus kind of what you sense of what he is as a coach now? Well, like I said, he, he had probably Billy Donovan and Mark Pope had the two greatest work ethics of any player I've ever coached. But Mark was a very spiritual young man. And I, I laughed because he would never curse in practice. I had a tendency once in a while, not often, to say a swear word. And Mark would always say the word free. If he did something wrong, he would say free. And finally, we had a bad few turnovers, and Mark said the word free again. I said, Mark, either don't say that word ever again or say the real word, because God knows exactly what you mean every time you say the word free. So don't do it again, because God knows. He looked at me. And he never said free again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was getting ready for these BYU days. He knew what was coming. <laughs> Rick, do you have a sense of players that, oh, he'd be a good coach or not? Did you, did you have that sense with Mark, or is it something that just happens later? You know, Mark, one of the other things that I noticed about Billy Donovan and Mark Pope, Frank Vogel, who was a student manager of mine at Kentucky, um, Jeff Van Gundy, who was my graduate assistant, and I've had 31 assistant coaches move on. Mark Pope has a passion. He's very hungry, very driven, but he has a quality that very few coaches have today. He has great humility. And all great leaders focus on humility. So he's a player's coach. He believes in discipline, but he has a humbleness about him that is going to allow the players to be the shining moments in the program, not himself. We've got to ask you about uh, coaching Jimmer Fredette on Panathinaikos in Greece. What, what was that like? You know, Jimmer was a great guy. Um, one of the, maybe the second best shooter I've witnessed since I've been a coach is Steph Curry being the number one for debt was two. You know, he, he, um, he, he has a, an uncanny ability to, to score with range, great guy, worked hard, uh, pleasure to be around all times. Got nothing but glowing remarks to say about Jimmer. And Rick, let's finish with this. When are we going to get an Iona BYU game? <laughs> well, we were supposed to play in the bubble this year in Mohican Sun, and something happened. Mm. Um, I would love to play. I'd love to come to BYU, get BYU back in Madison Square Garden. I wouldn't want to bring him to Iona. We only have a 3,100-seat arena, although it's very nice. But I'd love to get Mark back there. There's nothing in life I wouldn't do for Mark Pope. He's the mo one of the most special young captains. I've always not he's, – he's old now. I mean, he's probably 90 now. But, but, but he's one of the most special people uh, I've met in my lifetime, and there's nothing I wouldn't do for him.
Okay. Well, when when uh, he said, "Hey, I got Rick I for the show tonight," I said, better "Hey, better that's better. awesome!" So okay. we appreciate you taking right. some time. Best We're of luck to your up. team, Iona, as you guys prepare for the season as well. Hey, Caleb, way to run. All right, guys, tell Mark I love him. Thanks, coach. We will. Thank you.